Right, Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. My name is Yakabo from Plain Tables Camp of Philly. It's uh, New York Times. It says, a trio of armed individuals robbed Lamar Whitehead and his wife of jury worth more than $1 million, please say. Now, this is not the look you want to have. All right, this is basically like a contemporary uh, black preacher's look. They look very well dressed, uh, jewelry, and you, you have people that look up to these uh, men and women, and they think that they have the truth because they are rich, you know, or they have money, or it looks like they have money. It looks like they're doing uh, doing very well. All right. So it says uh, a, a uh, showy pastor who was showy, having striking appearance or style, typically being excessively bright, colorful, or ostentatious. A vulgar or pretentious display designed to impress or attract or, or, or attract notice. Ostentatious. Ostentatious. All right. So like the, the the Holy Spirit should tell you automatically. You shouldn't have to bring out a bunch of scriptures on this that are, that you shouldn't be uh, displaying that you get money when you're in the faith. All right, but but again, they're not really in the faith. They they're in a different faith. All right, so we worship Yahweh Shai. All right, through through the Father Yahweh. All right, the the true God. All right. Now. I could be in the description box. Well, I mean, you can just look at this up. This is, and he got robbed, uh, him and his wife, of the jury. And we probably watch, ring, a b bracelet, and you got the chain with the cross. All right, and you can see in the video when he was getting robbed, he basically just gave it straight up. He ain't, he ain't preach none of that Christ Jesus shit didn't work. All right. Even if it didn't work, he, he ain't staying his ground. He just got in the ground like a bitch. Like it wasn't like they they wanted to kill him. They just wanted to shit. You could, cause in the video you can see the dude just sit, standing there on the side on the left side of the screen, just like chill, just like looking. You know, he ain't getting the ground and empty his pockets out. Gotta believe he was targeted. Cause I think I heard something about him uh, driving a Rolls Royce. If I'm not mistaken, the video I saw a day of, yesterday or a day before. But here's a video. Well, let me see, do the scripture real quick. So he's in violation of this law. All right. Just extrapolating from what I've seen. Deuteronomy 16, 19. Those shall not rest judgment. Those shall not respect the persons, neither take a gift. Uh, for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and pervert the, the words of the righteous. So this part right here, thou shalt not respect the persons. Look up respect. We got nakar, nakar, which means uh, to be willing to recognize or acknowledge with honor. All right, this is in a bad sense, obviously. All right, to disguise oneself foreign or strange, to regard, to recognize, to show respect to. All right. So they basically show him respect to this man because it looks like he's doing very well. And so the Lord must be with him. That's what they're thinking in their mind. All right. Uh, the treat. Oh, no, I right did. To be willing to recognize or acknowledge, acknowledge with honor. All right. It says, Thou shalt not wrestle judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Neither take gifts. All right, so we got three laws. Thou shalt not wrestle judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. Neither shalt thou take a gift. For doth, so for a gift doth blind the eyes of the wise and perfect the words of the words of the righteous. All right, so you you supposed to uh, when you look at a, a man to honor that man, he has to earn it. it. Has to be merit behind that respect. All right, it has to be merit behind that. Uh, the honor and service that you're given. We look up merit 
M E R I T. We have uh, respect, praise, excellent. Something that deserves or justifies a reward or commendation. Yeah, so when the Lord said, when the Most High said, thou shalt not respect persons, thou shalt not give them honor, meaning it has to have merit behind it. All right, when you're giving honor to someone. All right, of often merits the state of fact of deserving des dessert. Uh, to be worthy, deserve. All right, there you go. Well, let me see where that word come from. Uh, to earn. Wow, there we go. Act of worthy or praise, blame, using this materially uh, merit it. to earn. All right. So that's what that means. Thou shalt not wrestle judgment. Thou shalt not respect persons. If you're giving someone respect, they have to earn it, merit, deserve justification for that honor all right to, to regard observe said to be willing to recognize or acknowledge, or acknowledge with honor all right let's watch the video all right now, i believe it broke yesterday or the day before now the, the news stations got on it with the, producing the videos i believe a day later which is which would be today let's listen to them let's see that well, have you seen this video? A brazen robbery caught on camera as a Brooklyn bishop delivered his service. Yeah, three masked men robbed the bishop of over a million dollars in jewelry, and it was all seen on the church's live stream video. Let's get right to Fox 5's Robert Moses. He's live in Canarsie, Brooklyn, with the latest. Robert? To Shawnee and Dan, the robbery happened here at the church on Remsen Avenue in Canarsie. The bishop believes that he was targeted for some reason. This is a man who is no stranger to the headlines or to the law. Yo, yo. All right, right, right. All right, right. As Bishop Lamar Whitehead delivered his sermon inside his church in Canarsie, the leaders of Tomorrow International Ministries, police say three masked, armed men burst in and stole more than one million dollars worth of jewelry, including a Rolex, from the bishop and his wife. The church's live stream captured the robbery. When I see them come into the sanctuary with their guns, I told everybody, get out. As he later recounted on Instagram, Whitehead feared the men would harm his... No, he didn't. He didn't tell everybody to get the fuck down. Did y'all see that? Where was that at? Get down. Hold on. Let's see here. How many of you have lost your faith because you saw somebody else die? What you about to go through? Yo, yo, yo. All right, right, right. All right, right. Yo, all right, all right. Nobody move. Nobody move. You know, I hear him say everybody get down. I hear that. Unless y'all heard it. I mean, if you ain't say it, you ain't say it. Shit, I hear him. See the boy right here, he's like, like staying calm, cool. I come back, make sure he gets some more stuff. Yeah, I ain't hear, uh, he said everybody get down. Alex from the bishop and his wife. The church's live stream captured the robbery. When I see them come into the sanctuary with their guns, I told everybody, get out. As he later recounted on Instagram, Whitehead feared the men would harm his parishioners. They didn't fire any shots, but Whitehead says they stole plenty. Took my watch, took my jewelry, took my bishop's ring, um, took my wedding band. Um, they took and then they took my bishop's cross. Police say the robbers fled on foot, got into a white Mercedes Benz, and drove away eastbound on Avenue D. Whitehead has been in the news before. Besides making an unsuccessful run for Brooklyn Borough President, in May, he claimed he was trying to negotiate the surrender of Andrew Abdullah, who at the time was wanted for shooting and killing Daniel Enriquez aboard a Manhattan-bound Q train. 
Whitehead drove his Rolls Royce to the 5th Precinct to, in his telling, facilitate the surrender. But police arrested Abdullah without Whitehead's help. With Whitehead now back in the headlines, he responded to critics who accuse him of being too flashy. You know, it's my prerogative to purchase what I want to purchase. If I worked hard for it, I can purchase what I want to purchase. We mentioned that police say the robbers got away in that white Mercedes. One more clue that you should hear, it has New York plate KMZ5464. Again, KMZ5464. Whitehead is no stranger to the law. He served five years in prison for a $2 million identity theft scam. Yeah, oh, have you seen it? Hey, you know, he saw I got to throw that in there. All right, so he, he's walking around with all that uh, jury on, and uh, they paying respect to him. They they actually believe he got the truth because they got respected persons. All right, so that's what that means. That law right there, he's in violation of that because, well, the congregation is in violation of it. All right, because they respect him solely because he looks successful. All right. I'm sure there are other reasons, but, you know, that's one of them. All right. So we got, um, see, those demonic spirits, they know that guy and they know he's wicked. So, uh, though they don't, they don't play fair. All right. So did, uh, obviously, no, this could happen to anybody, but that's embarrassing, you know, on live. And everybody see you getting took for all your shit. All right. He didn't have control over them demons. All right. So quickly here, I Acts 19.13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews exorcists, vagabond Jews exorcists took upon them to call over them which had, uh, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, saying, we adjure you by Yahweh Shai, whom Paul preacheth. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, a chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, I'm still recording, right? Yahweh Shai I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? Meaning, the demons knew who they were, but, he did, but they didn't recognize them to have any power. All right? Any power with Yahweh Shai to actually adjure. I mean, the cast to request so uh, yeah to request all right so those those evil spirits didn't uh know them to have any power with yahweh shy so and the evil spirit answered and said yahweh shy i know and paul i know but who are you yeah to call on that name all right and the man in whom the evil spirit it's like and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded so that's some irony for your ass that he did if if the if their clothes were were gold and silver they would have took they would have stripped them literally butt naked all right so they got figuratively stripped naked because those demons prevailed against them all right and he looked foolish because what he took, he shouldn't even have had on if he was a real man of the Lord. All right. Yeah, we, we, we can get robbed. We can get you no know, murdered and all that. All right. But we're going, if we, that happens to us, it's going, it's going to be, uh, we're going to die honorably. All right. Or get robbed honorably. All right. We're not going to get robbed for a bunch of jewelry and, and $50,000 watches, Rolex watches. All right. So he got stripped. Those demons stripped him naked. All right. And, and the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. Let's look, uh, let's see what naked say real quick. Might be just traditional. We got Jumnos or, or Gumnos. All right, there's no J in the Greek. It's Gum, Gumnos or G, gamma, gumnos. It's just unclad without clothing. All right, without clothing, in this, in this sense, without jewelry. 
I mean, fifty thousand dollar Rolex watches. All right. They were definitely exposed because them doors should have been locked. Should have had security. Naked, for example, open and lay bare. So that's what of the soul whose garments is the body, stripped of the body without the body. All right. Let's so leave that there. So they got stripped. All right, by demons. Literally three demons came in and stripped two other demons. Him and his wife. All right, we got Thessalonians we'll end it here. All right, now if they practiced this, they wouldn't have ever got robbed all right, or been targeted. You got the Rolls Royce, million dollars in jewelry. It says, and indeed uh, ye do it toward all brethren which are in all Macedonia, but we beseech you, brethren, that ye increase more and more. Yeah, not in money and in riches. All right. And that first Thessalonians four and eleven, and that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands as we command you, that ye may walk honestly toward them that are without, that ye may have lack of nothing. That ye may have lack of nothing. All right. So the point here is a study to be quiet and do your own business. So we want to look up quiet. Yeah. We got has a Kazo. The Ada makes an H sound. Has uh, Hey Su Kazo. All right. It says uh, to lead a quiet life. We record. All right. Said of those who are not running hither and thither, but stay at home and mind their business to lead a quiet life. All right. And definitely his prerogative would wear what he work hard for and leading a quiet life. All right. Uh, cease from labor. All right. So that's pretty much the point. All right. If he's really a man of the Lord, if he's really about the Lord's business, he wouldn't have made that stupid ass statement. He can wear what he want because that's what he worked hard for. That's not a man of the Lord. All right. That's the same thing the uh, Sakari do when they uh, go to those events and do shit for views. They ain't studying to be quiet. All right. They, they, want, they want attention. All right. They want to show that they're successful. All right. And that you study to be quiet and to do your own business. To lead a quiet life said of those who are not running hither and thither will be in other men's business causing trouble. But stay at home and mind their business. All right. There we go. Alright. Let me play a video again. And I hope you were edified. Shall on to the next lesson. Somebody else die. What you about to go through. Yo, yo, yo. Alright, right, right. Alright, right. Yo, alright, alright.
Yeah, full of fear. Full, full of fear. A bunch of damn women. See that? Where's Christ Jesus at? He, he, he can afford it. I mean, he can afford it. He got a Rolls Royce. Maintenance. Uh, gas. He can afford it. They, they, they can afford it. Yeah, the spirit of Yahweh and the son of Yahweh Shai is not in this church. Spirit of Christ Jesus is in that church, all right, which is a demon, a devil. All right, Shalom.